Hi, my name is Bree Clark, and today I'm going to talk about z-scores in Microsoft Excel. A z-score is just the number of standard deviations above or below a mean. So what we're going to do in Excel is first calculate an average, or the mean, then we'll calculate the standard deviation, and then I'll show you how to calculate the z-score based on those fields. In this document, I already have a label for average, so I'll calculate the average here using the average function. So I'm averaging these temperatures. The average is 44.7368. Then I need the standard deviation, which is the STDEV function. So I'll take the standard deviation here which is 2.1040. Now I'm going to calculate the z-score for each of these. And to do this we're going to use a function called standardize. The first argument is the value, in this case the temperature 46 degrees. The second argument is the mean, which I've already calculated down here in cell B21. And the third argument is the standard deviation, which is calculated in cell B22. Once I've entered those three arguments and close the parentheses, when I press enter, I'll see that this first temperature is 0.600354 above the mean temperature. And then I can just autofill. But wait, when I start to autofill, I start to get errors. That's because of relative referencing. Excel is auto-incrementing the average and the standard deviation. So I need to make those absolute references. And I can do that by clicking on each of those and pressing the F4 function key to add dollar signs. Now that that's done, I can fill down and I see the z-score for each of these temperature values. So the first thing we did was calculate the average. Second, we calculated the standard deviation of the range of values by using the STDEV function. And then we used the standardized function to calculate the z-score. My name is Bree Clark. Thanks for watching.